Hello and welcome to our virtual science expo. My name is Bailey and today I'm going to be taking you through the activity called Kissing Balloons. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with me, you can click the link just below our video and it will take you to our detailed activity guide and you can find the instructions under weather and climate and then kissing balloons and it will tell you exactly what you need for this activity, how to do it, and a little bit of discussion of what's going on. So, what you'll need for this activity is a rod or a stick of some form, some string, and two balloons, hopefully the same size. It works best if the balloons are blown up to the same size. Um, so you're just going to blow up the balloons, tie them to the end of the string, and tie the strings on top of the rod. And you want the balloons just a few inches apart. If they're too far apart or too close to the other, this activity doesn't work too well. And the purpose of this activity is to model how air pressure influences our weather systems. So the clouds in this model, rep sorry, the clouds, the balloons in this model represent our clouds, and I am going to be representing a change in air pressure. So what I am gonna do is I'm actually, oops, not that. I'm actually going to hold this up and I'm gonna blow directly between these two balloons. Um, what do you think is gonna happen? Are they gonna blow together? Are they going to blow apart? Are they gonna stay exactly in the same place? Let's find out. Okay. <sighs> Voila, they come together. That is why this activity is called kissing balloons. Let's see if I can get it to go one more time. So why does this happen? Why do the balloons blow together? Well, the reason behind this is that when I blow straight between the balloons, I'm actually creating a low pressure system right here. And as you may already know, if not, I will tell you right now, air likes to move from areas of high pressure to low pressure. So if I'm blowing between the balloons and creating a low pressure area, all of this air that's surrounding the balloons is in a higher pressure area and it wants to move to that low pressure. So that air is then gonna come in and bring these two balloons together right after I create that low pressure system. And this is exactly what happens outside with clouds. Um, air wants to move from areas of high pressure to low pressure and so the low pressure system is where all of that air is attracted to and that's where all of the clouds are actually gonna move into. So all of the air will push the clouds together and create a cloud front. So the second piece of this activity, gently set my balloons down, is you have a nice bubbly map of the United States um, and it actually has two different representations of air pressure. So over here we have a high air pressure system and down here we have a low air pressure system. And we've got a few different little cutouts. So we've got a sun, some rain, some thunderstorms. You really only need two, so I'm gonna get rid of the thunderstorms. Um, and I would then ask you, where do you think that the weather, clear and sunny, or cloudy and rainy belongs on this map based off of where the high pressure system and low pressure systems are. So what do you think? Maybe take a second to think about it. Well, let me tell you, our sun is actually gonna go on our high pressure system and our clouds are gonna go on our low pressure system. Hopefully you understand why after my little demonstration with the balloons, but I'll just repeat one last time. Um, the low pressure system is where all of the air wants to move to. So we have high pressure over here and it's nice and sunny and all of that is gonna be attracted to the low pressure system over here. So any clouds that were in this region are now moving towards the low pressure and they're gonna gather there. So it's like the clouds are attracted to that low pressure region. And since they've all moved away, and we've got high pressure, which is then clear and sunny, and low pressure, which is stormy. So the focus of this whole activity is just to teach you about how air pressure influences our weather, and hopefully you have a better understanding. If you have any further questions, please click that link below our video for our guide. Everything is explained right here for you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed.